That puts runners on second and third for Trent Grisham, who homered his first time up. And Grisham hits one deep to right field, and this ball is carrying, and this ball is gone. Three-run home run on a curveball. Grisham has given the Padres a 5-1 to one lead as he has two home runs in two innings. Pretty safe to say that Grisham has Belak's number. Belak again had allowed two total home runs this year in 21 and a third innings. That ball in and hits Tatis Jr. Hey now, pitch in to Tatis and he gets hit. That was a changeup. Nestor Seha is going to have a conversation with the umpiring crew. Second time he's been a home plate umpire. I I'm not sure why you would hit anybody with a changeup to draw a warning, but he's meeting with everybody. It was only 85 miles an hour. Yeah. Well, he only throws 91. Changeup at 85. Either way, there have been four home runs in an inning and a third. And I guess we shouldn't be overly surprised. Yeah. It was a changeup, right? Correct. 85 miles an hour. Well, he only throws 91. So what are we doing? Young umpire asking the veterans. Now, last time we had this conversation among umpires, they did nothing. What do they do tonight is the question. But I don't understand why there's a warning. That's a change up. If you are a connoisseur of baseball, you know that Belak is struggling with command due to the high exit velocities we're seeing. I mean, he's been pretty consistent with all of his pitches tonight. Has he not? He's been this around the zone. Yes. It's a change up, Alfonso Marquez. I'm sorry. And I, so the Padres are upset too. And the Padres are not upset because they're going to retaliate. They probably weren't going to retaliate, but they don't want to risk their pitcher getting run on the assumption on a pitch that gets away in. It's This is completely unnecessary to warn. I know that it's Fernando Tatis. I know that Belak has been hit hard. But there was no intent whatsoever behind that pitch, a, a changeup. And you know what? Just because it's an off speed pitch doesn't mean. It's with intent, without intent, I should say. Okay, warnings are being handed out. Yeah, I would imagine after this game, when they asked Jace Tingler about it too, Jace is going to be, we didn't think it was intentional. We didn't feel there was a need to be warned on both sides. I think Jace would just like to have him ejected, really, if they're going to do anything. Let me ask you something. And this is, a, the only reason I bring this up is because it's, it might be a little bit ludicrous for me to ask it. Is it because it's the Astros? I hope not. I don't know. I don't think so. There's no history here. I know there's no history, but the league itself is already irritated with the Astros anyways. I mean, it's a little bit in. He leans into it. It's around his hip. San Diego is about the least impacted team of anybody. Yeah. Is he ejected? Oh, come on. Wow, that I don't spiraled out of control in a hurry. I did not get what's happening here. Dusty Baker's going to make a pitching change anyway as Tatis hit with a pitch. Warnings have been handed out. That's the night for Belak, who gives up six runs in an inning. And the third, we've got a pitching change with the Padres on top six to one in San Diego tonight. See, this is where I wish that the umpires had a chance to be mic'd and explain to all of us, you know, what exactly the ruling is and what's going on. And you know what, Donnie? Uh, some chirping also between players. Dugout to dugout as well. 